When I open Drawing Pad, you'll see that I have options. I'm going to start a new one by pressing New. And this drawer can be toggled back and forth just by sliding it. There's a few options for different tools. Let's take a look at a few of them. Here's the paint brushes, and in the paint brushes you can see that there's a thick color or there's a thin brush, and when I select it, it moves forward. You'll notice that. The pencil crayons, pe colored pencils, they look a little bit different. See, notice that? As do the crayons. So the crayons have sort of that texture. Felt tips are quite a solid color, sort of like the paint but a bit thinner. Pencils are just all sorts of different types of this one color pencil. The eraser, so I can select an eraser and erase this. The quicker way is actually to press the crumpled up piece of paper. That says erase everything, so I'm going to say yes. This is sort of a, a roller, so I can select this and roll, and if I roll on top of it more shows up more. It's kind of some neat textures there. I'm going to come back to papers in a second. There are stamps just here. So I can get a stamp and put it on there. There's the bus. Pinching out makes it bigger. I could put in a motorbike and you'll notice that these this toolbar comes up so I can actually move it behind or in front of the other ones. I could flip it the other way, and I could st stamp it there so now it's stuck there. It's no longer, I can't, when I press that stamp tool, it's there. Oops, I've used my color on there. Let's undo that. At the top corner, you see that I have the undo button. Undo the moving of the bus. Undo the stamping of this. And if I want to delete this, that is just the trash can. So I can click on that and go trash can. There's a few other options like chalk. So I can press on the chalk, colored chalk, as well as just typing in some letters. And I can change the, the font that I have there, change the size of the text, size of the letters, and choose a different color if I want. There, and I press check mark. And you notice it's like the stamp. This, this can be moved around. And I'm just going to delete that. Let's go and press that eraser button and delete all of this, erase everything. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to the papers, and now you'll see there's all sorts of different textures of paper here. I'm going to go to the picture, I'm going to add my photo, and now I'm going to select, I'm going to use the felt tips. Now let's select a color and I'm going to draw a quick outline of my face. Now I find that if it gets colored in all the way instead of just an outline it's very hard to see the nose and the eyes as well so let's grab the black color here and color this part in and the hair make a couple of those spikes up at the top there Let's put those eyebrows in. And maybe my eyes are a little bit brown. Get some color for the lips here. Okay. And let's fill in that shirt. So color that in. Here's that shirt. And there we go. Now I'm going to go back to the home and let's save this. So I go to this button here and I press and I've got a few options. I can email, I can do a few things, but I'm just going to save this to the camera roll by pressing that button. There it is, saved to the camera roll. Now what I'd like to do is I don't want to see the picture behind there, so I'm going to go back to my paper. And it's, I'm going to select the white background. So what's that's going to do is just going to the white background. And now you can see that picture. And what I like to do is I like to save that again. So I have two 
examples, the one with the picture behind and the one with just my drawing. So that's a quick introduction to DrawingPad.